week we're going to be making a cocktail by David Lebovitz. This is going to be the French Manhattan, so kind of a take on a traditional Manhattan, but with, sorry, all my bottles are chinking and it sounded like a ringtone, I was so confused. Um, it's a take on a Manhattan, but with French ingredients. I know I've been very naughty and I'm not using French vermouth here. If you have French sweet vermouth, please use that instead. So as far as ingredients go, it's gonna be one and a half ounces of cognac, one and a half ounces of sweet vermouth, a quarter of an ounce of orange liqueur, a dash of either aromatic or orange bitters, whatever you have on hand or prefer, and we're gonna be garnishing with a cherry. So let's get started. Um, oh was with the ice sticking to my bowl. So one thing that I read in his article about this, which I thought was interesting, was I had no idea that per capita, the French are the largest con or highest consumers of whiskey worldwide. So that was uh, something new, but apparently for, you know, things like this, they prefer cognac. So let's give it a try with cognac. So we're going to go in with one and a half ounces of cognac. I suppose maybe it's just a little bit of nationalism, given that obviously French are the producers of cognac. Now in with our vermouth. Now this is interesting because we've got equal parts, whereas normally your Manhattan would be mainly whiskey with a little bit of sweet vermouth. And the orange liqueur is something new as well. So let's see how this, how this comes out. I'm a big fan of David Lebovitz, so I don't think it'll let me down. Okay. And I decided to go for aromatic bitters, so I'm using Angostura. Let's give it a stir. We're gonna stir for about 30 seconds until the outside of the glass is frosty. I've said this like a thousand times. Uh, we need to add appropriate dilution from the ice and chill the drink. So I'll see you in 30 seconds. Okay, so we are done with our stirring. Now I'm gonna use this kind of coupe glass. You can use anything. I think it should definitely be served up, so some kind of a cocktail glass. I'm excited to try this. Cognac is one of those things that I don't really use very often. I think probably the Vucare is one of the only things off the top of my head that I could think that I use it in. Oh, cherry. How could I forget? Oh, this always. One second. I gotta go get something to open this with. Well, that was not cooperating, so I'm afraid no cherry today. Uh, just imagine there's one in here, and let's give it a taste. So, cheers. It smells very good. It smells. I can almost smell cherry because I think it should be there, but yeah, the uh, the orange seems to play really nicely with the cognac, definitely bringing out the kind of fruitier notes in there. So let's give it a taste. Ooh, I like that. It's almost Christmassy in a very subtle way. Let's have another taste. Oh, that's delicious. It's kind of reminding me of spice and currants and like a warm caramelly brown sugary kind of thing, but not not over the top. Like it's it's not a sweet drink. It definitely kind of falls on the drier side, which I'm quite surprised with given the amount of sweet vermouth in there. But yeah, it's subtle and warming definitely a great winter drink especially if you don't want something that's too rich because i feel like often these kind of more wintry christmasy drinks are sickly or just kind of too much pumpkin spice everything now it's october you know um everything at christmas seems to have to have cinnamon in it 
this is subtle and really, really nicely balanced and unusual. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. I think for those of you who are a fan of the regular Manhattan, this will be a pleasing surprise. So give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe button if you like my videos and I will see you next week. Thank you.